Welcome back to another WoW video. Today we'll be showcasing a brand new farm spot. This farm spot does not require a group, ults, or high-end gear. It's based on skinning and making strikers, with trash and green drops added to it. My time farming here, I have yet to see anyone come here and farm like I do, but I have a feeling that is about to change. Before we get into that, if this type of video is not for you, make sure you check out my last video covering 6 dungeons to run for Tmog gains. The farm is very easy to find. It is located in the zone of Zuldazar. The waypoints are 67.07 and 35.67. The spot is known as Skyrender. Most people just skip this place, think nothing of it. Most small mobs were nerfed at the start of the expansion due to how much you can actually farm from them, and it was crazy how much blood bones you can actually get off of eggs and other farms. So nowadays people do Atoll or the pigs. As you can see here, I present you with Skyrender with a total of 13,349 gold total. That is raw gold. The amount of bones here is actually very close to Atoll when you run with two ults due to the lockout. The gold value beats Motherload and Freehold. Here are some pros. Solo spot, there is no need for ults. No need for groups, I never actually tested out with a group. Spawns are fast and by the time I did a loop they respawn. Easy to kill, no need to be 440 or higher to farm this spot. Just basic gear will be fine here. There are pros, now there's actually going to be cons. It's open world and as in any farm for open world you have to fight for mobs which is a hassle sometimes especially if a boxer comes and farms here. All farms have pros and cons, you should weigh the farm for yourself to see if it's worth it. To me, the farm alone is worth it. But what happens if you actually use the lockout for a toll and the rest 30 minutes here? So I did a toll on normal and got 946 bones. As a demon hunter, I can get this down to 30 minutes. Remember the faster you get this down, the better. I am only 450, so that's the best I can do for now. After I got locked out, I flew to Skyrender and did the rest of the time to get a total of 1,839 bones, meaning I got 893 bones from this spot in under 30 minutes. Seeing it took me a minute to fly here. With that, I vendored everything and make the strikers and got a total of 15,659 gold. Man, that is just really, really amazing. Making it the best solo spot to date. No need for a group, no need for an ult, but you will need at least 440 plus to do a toll, plus skinning and leatherworking. So this spot was really fun to do, and yes I know people will flock here. That's expected when you show a spot to share with the gold community. If this farm is already known, then it's actually not farmed that much. And to be honest with you, the hours I was here, I never saw anybody come farm this at all. So if this farm is brand new to you or the like, please let others know that comments shared this farm for you. With that, if you like my content, please check out my Patreon. We always try to find great spots for people to farm. I want to say thank you so much to all my Patreons who went the extra mile. It means the world that y'all actually became a Patreon and part of the Mustache Army. With that, please like, subscribe, and as always, stay stashy.